Lesson 11.2, we're going to find and measure perimeter. We modeled perimeter in Lesson 11.1. If you haven't seen it, it's linked in the description. Perimeter is the distance around a shape. And we can find the perimeter of a shape by adding the lengths of its sides to find the sum. We learned that in the last video. We can measure perimeter by estimating and using benchmarks. We learned about that in video 10.7. We can measure perimeter by using a ruler to measure the lengths of the sides, then add the lengths to get a sum. Then we can compare the sum to our estimate. Using a ruler, we can measure each side with inches or with centimeters. If the figure has sides of equal lengths, we can multiply the measure of one side by the number of sides. We learned that in video 11.1 also. A rectangle has two pairs of sides of equal length. These two are the same length, and these two are the same length. Here I have a sheet of construction paper, and we can estimate the perimeter of a sheet of paper. It's measure around the outside. And I estimate the top to be 8 inches and the sides to be 10 inches. My perimeter estimate would be 8 plus 8 plus 10 plus 10. 10 plus 10 is 20, 8 plus 8 is 16, and 20 plus 16 would be 36 inches for my estimate of the perimeter of this construction paper. I estimated the perimeter to be 36 inches. I measure the top with my ruler as 9 inches. So it's actually 9 inches. I estimated 8 inches. And I can measure one side as 12 inches. It's the whole length of the ruler. I thought it was 10 inches on the side. I only needed to measure the top and one side because it's a rectangle. A rectangle has two pairs of equal length sides. If that's nine inches, then this is nine inches. And the other pair, if this is 12 inches, this side is 12 inches. We can add nine plus nine plus 12 plus 12, and that is equal to 42 inches. So our perimeter is 42 inches for the construction paper. I estimated it to be 36 inches, so my estimate was low compared to the actual perimeter. So remember, perimeter is the measure of the outside of something. When we wanted to find the perimeter of this person's yard, we would measure around the outside, almost like that's where we would put a fence. That's the perimeter. We can find the perimeter in centimeters of this square by measuring one side, then multiplying that measure by the four sides. A square has four equal sides. If we know the measure of one side, we know the measure of all the sides. We can do four centimeters times the four sides, and it's equal to a 16 centimeter perimeter. We need to be careful when finding the perimeter of a shape that seems to have equal side lengths. If we're not told the sides are equal lengths, we cannot assume that they are equal. We can't just think they're equal. We need to measure them. If we measured the sides of this triangle, here's the centimeters along the bottom here. We can measure this side and we see it's about four centimeters. We can measure the bottom side and see the measure right there? It's not four, is it? And if we measure this one, well, that one's about four, but the bottom isn't, is it? So all the sides are not equal, even though it looks like they might be. So if we're not told the sides are equal lengths, we need to measure them. 
We can use a ruler to measure the sides of this figure to find its perimeter in centimeters. There are five sides, one, two, three, four, five. We'll need to add the five measures to get a total. We're going to measure in centimeters, so that's this part of the ruler where it says centimeter, and we can hold it up like this, and we see that this side is two centimeters. It goes to the two right here, see that? We measure this side, we put the corner right here on the end, and we lay it up next to it, and we see that it goes to the four right here. So this is four centimeters. We measure this one, we line this corner up down here to that corner, and we see it's three centimeters. It went to the three right there. We measure this little part right here, we put the corner on and match it up, and we see it went to the two right there. So that side is two centimeters. We do this last side, we line the corner up, we see it's at the four right here. So this side is also four centimeters. Now we can take these five measures add them up, and get a total. We have 2 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 4. 2 plus 4 is 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, plus 4 is equal to 15. We know the perimeter for this shape is 15 centimeters. Which rectangle has a perimeter of 12 inches? We have shape A, that's this blue rectangle, and shape B, that's this red rectangle. Now remember a rectangle has two pairs of sides of equal length. We need to find these other sides, don't we? It's got this measure and this measure. Well, because there's two pairs of sides of equal length, if this is six inches, then this must be six inches. And for the other pair, if this is two inches, then this side must be two inches. We can add the sides. Six plus six plus two plus two is equal to 12 plus four, which is 16 inches. Now we also could have done the six inches times two sides and added it to the two inches times two sides. That would be 12 plus four, which is equal to 16. Well. It wants to know which rectangle has a perimeter of 12 inches, so we know it's not shape A. It must be shape B, but let's do the math to be sure. We have a 5-inch side, so we need a 5-inch side for the other part of the pair. If this is 1 inch, then we know that's 1 inch. Now we can do our math and find a total for the perimeter. We add 5 plus 5 plus 1 plus 1, which is equal to 12. So yes, shape B is the rectangle with a perimeter of 12 inches. We also could have done the 5 inch side times the two sides plus the 1 inch side times two sides, and we would have had 10 plus 2, which is equal to 12 inches. So we know shape B is the rectangle that has a perimeter of 12 inches. The instructions say use a ruler to find the perimeter. So notice each side is labeled with CM for centimeters. We need to measure each edge of this shape with the centimeter side of our ruler. We can start on the top, and here's our centimeters down here. It says centimeters, and we can measure this top part up here. It goes to closest, nearest to the line for one centimeter, so we know this top piece must be one centimeter. We can now measure this side. We line the edge where zero would be along this corner here, 
and we see that it's seven centimeters. It's right by the line for the seven. See that? We measure the bottom part. We see when we line it up on the edge that it's four centimeters. Now we need to measure this little piece. Lining up our ruler, we can see it's about one, two centimeters. Now we need to measure this part right here. We see from this corner to this corner, it's three centimeters, one, two, three. And now for the last part, we need to go from this corner to the top. Lining the ruler up from the corner to the corner of the ruler at zero, we see that it's at five. This side is five centimeters. Now that we've measured every side, we can add the measures to get a total for the perimeter. We have one plus seven, that's eight plus four more, that's 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, plus five. The perimeter for this object, for this shape, is 22 centimeters. We measured every side and we found a total. Sophia is putting a fence around her vegetable garden. Each side of her garden is four meters long. And the fence costs two dollars for each meter. How much will the fence cost? Well, the problem tells us each side is four meters. Sophia's garden must be a square with equal side lengths. If they're all four meters, it must be a square. And we can draw a picture to help us. We can make a square and put four meters on one side. We know all the sides are the same length, so that must be four meters, and that one, and that one. So we can do four meters times the four sides. Four times four is equal to 16, so her perimeter must be 16 meters. So she has 16 meters in all, and she's going to pay $2 for each meter. We can multiply 16, that's the perimeter of meters, times the $2 per meter. 16 times two, is equal to 32, so her total cost is $32. We found the perimeter with multiplication, because all the sides were the same length and there were four sides. Then we used multiplication again to multiply the meters in her perimeter by the amount of money it costs per meter. Now, there's another way to solve this. We know her garden is a square, and we know that one side is four meters, so they all must be four meters, right? We can do one four meter side times $2 per meter. That means it's $8 for one side. Then we can multiply the $8 that cost for one side times the four sides, and we'll still get $32 for the total cost of the fence for her vegetable garden. So we can find the total perimeters and then multiply that by the amount of money for the fence, or we can multiply one side by the amount of money per meter and then multiply that dollar amount times the four sides. Either way, we're gonna get the same answer. Sanjay has a rectangular garden. Rectangles have two pairs of equal length sides. His garden has a perimeter of 18 feet and one side is six feet. Find the lengths of the other sides. So we can draw a picture to help us. We know it told us one side is six feet. We can draw another six foot side to complete that first pair. So now we know we have two six foot sides. We need to find these sides. We add the six and the six for that pair and get 12. It told us the perimeter is 18 feet. So we subtract 18 minus 12 and that's equal to six. So we know that these two sides have to equal six. 
the other pair of sides is 6 feet total. So we divide the 6 by the two sides, 1, 2, and we see it's 3 feet for each side. 6 plus 6 is 12, plus 3 is 15, 16, 17, 18. It's an 18-foot 18 perimeter. So the other sides of Sanjay's garden are 6 feet, 3 feet, and 3 feet. It gave us the first one, and now we know the other ones are 6 feet, 3 feet, and 3 feet. We had to do addition, then subtraction, then division to solve this problem. Remember, when we measure an object to the nearest inch or centimeter, we measure it to the line it is closer to. We learned about that when we learned about measuring in video 10.6, and I'll have a link to that in the description also. So this pink line, it's not at the three inch mark, but it's closer to three inches. It's closer, the nearest inch would be three. For this pink line down here, it's a little tiny bit past the four centimeters. That's the nearest centimeter, it would be four. So when we measure an object to the nearest inch or centimeter, we measure it to the line it is closer to. So remember, when we have one side length for a square, we can multiply that side length times four because a square has four equal sides. And if we're measuring a rectangle, we only need two sides. Rectangles have two pairs of equal sides and we can use those measures to help us find the other measures. Our next lesson, we're going to get into a little bit of algebra, and we're going to find unknown side lengths for some objects, for some figures. I hope I'll see you there. Have a wonderful day. Bye.